So I was uh, just listening to this Eminem song, and, and I heard uh, I was at Kingdom Mountain this year, and I heard a guy talking about Eminem, and I, I heard him talking about uh, you know that maybe you know the music, you know the swearing, you know some of the lyrics, you know whatever. But the fact that uh, Eminem was very transparent in one of his songs, I mean, if you know anything about uh, him, and I actually did some Google work to find out kind of more information, I mean, he had a very serious drug addiction, very serious drug habit. And, uh, and I mean, and he knew it. And there was a day that came uh, that he knew it, and he knew he had to shake it, not for his sake, uh, but for his daughter's sake. So he had this drug habit that knew he had to shake for his daughter's sake, and he went ahead and he started doing that. I think it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic when a man can stand up and realize that he has demons in his life, uh, sin in his life. He's not a Christian, keep in mind, but sin in his life. Something in his life that just doesn't belong. Something in his life that is that is wrecking his life. Wrecking the rest of his life. And, and something something as, as, as selfish as, uh, as a drug addiction, he identified that, knew it, and knew he had to turn away from it, knew he had to repent from it. Not in the Christian sense, but in the practical sense. That he needed to turn away from it so he could be a better father to his daughter. To be a better family. I mean, that's important. I mean, I think Eminem should be in all of our prayers. Yeah, you know, I don't know the guy. I know he's from Detroit. My mom's from Detroit. And I know my mom's a Tigers fan. And I think Eminem's a Tigers fan. So, I mean, I think that's as much interaction uh, or, or relatability that I might have with him. I mean, one day I'll be a father. You know? I don't know him. I don't buy his CDs. But, uh, but you know what? If I was in his shoes, I would relish the prayers of others to stay on the path. So to stay on the path that I've identified as a path that's not right for me. You know, Christian, non-Christian, we can all agree that when we man up, see things in our own life that is wrecking our life and keeping us from being the man that God or the man that you know God wanted us to be, maybe we don't believe we don't believe there is a God. You know, maybe we don't. We're not at that place yet. We're ready to embrace the, the need for a Savior. But you know, we we can see as proof in His life that He knows that there is something more than what He was getting from the world. And maybe He doesn't know what that is yet. But man, He should be the most prayed for man in America because He's a mainstream guy, a guy who probably isn't isn't uh, put in a lot of conversations for for men who uh, for 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 men who are kind of. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say it. I, I've never sat in church and had a long discussion about Eminem being being a, a, any kind of a role model. I'm not saying that he is, but I, there. But the principle of what he's doing, I can learn something from, and I'm learning something from it right now. So I think Eminem should be the most prayed for man in America, just to just in hopes and encouragement that he can stay on this path, this new path, without drugs, free of addiction. So that simply, he can be a better father to his daughter. I think that's fantastic. And for that reason, I, uh, I, will, I will add him to my prayer list. And I hope you all do too.